A stirring tribute tonight to a fallen warrior's legacy. A memorial is being dedicated to Navy SEAL Michael Monsoor of Garden Grove. A dedication ceremony was held in Garden Grove High as fitting as Monsoor once played football there. Orange County reporter Stacy Butler is live now in Garden Grove with more on that special honor. Stacy. Yeah, Jeff here at his alma mater. Tonight, the Garden Grove Argonauts played their very first game on the brand new field named for Mansoor. Now, tonight, his Navy SEALs, his fellow SEALs, said that when he was alive, he saved lives. And now in death, they hope he'll change them. We hope that this ceremony has made you proud and honor the life and the memory of your son. It's the outpouring of love and um, has just been phenomenal. So we're just really happy about that. Overwhelmed by the show of support. Sometimes thank you just isn't enough. Tonight, Sally Monsoor said her son Michael would be honored that his alma mater, Garden Grove High, just built a new stadium in his name. The Michael A. Monsoor Memorial Stadium. <laughs> The Navy SEAL was killed during Operation Iraqi Freedom when he jumped on a grenade protecting his fellow SEALs in combat. Mansour received a long list of awards, including the Purple Heart, the Medal of Honor, and the Silver Star. Michael's an example of the kind of heroes that we need today. In a celebration befitting a war hero tonight, the Patriot Parachute Team swooped onto the new Mansour Field to honor him. His mom hopes her son's example of service and sacrifice will create a legacy for future high schoolers. When you start to give, you find that you receive much more. So I'm hoping that when they see Mike's name and know his story, um, that that will inspire people to do uh, better for their communities. I think the more that we can get the story out about who Michael was as a man, what his character was like, and certainly what he did and how he served, um, I, I, my hope is that uh, some young man or young woman will see that and they'll be inspired. Now, certainly, Mansoor's memory lives here. In addition to the stadium, the school already has a huge wall in his name. He was killed 11 years ago. That's the latest from Garden Grove. Back to you guys in the studio.